Review number one. Before I bought this machine, I realized SodaStream runs a Gillette business model. You know, they sell you a razor for a reasonable price, or free, but get you with the refills. My family drinks tons of soda, but there is no way I'm paying $15 per refill. Before I bought this device I Google Soda Stream adapters. You can get dozens right here on Amazon or other sites. These adapters allow you to use a simple paintball tank rather than the expensive to refill tanks that Soda Stream pushes. A paintball tank can be refilled for $3.50-$4.50 at Dick's Sporting Goods, after the fourth refill you get one for free. Most of these adapters will tell you that if your machine accepts the 60L tank you can use 9 ounces or 12 ounces paintball tanks with your machine, and if you have a 133L tank machine you can use a 24 ounces paintball tank. However, they aren't 100% correct. This KitchenAid has room to hold a 20 ounces tank as I found out through trial slash error. I don't think it will hold a 24 ounces tank although I haven't tried. Attached is a photo of my KitchenAid with a 20 ounces Empire paintball tank and a Solution Soda Stream adapter. This setup makes the machine suddenly make financial sense, whereas previously it was a convenience and break even situation at best. 5.0 out of 5 stars. Great machine. Just be sure to avoid the Gillette business model. First the cons, I ordered this model ships by slash sold by Amazon.com. The machine came in good condition, however the kit that comes with it was a Tinley starter CO2 bottle and a 1L bottle for water. The machine was supposed to come with a 60L CO2 bottle and a flavor sampler. Amazon did the right thing and gave me a partial refund. While the machine is allegedly all metal, in reality, there is quite a bit of plastic. It seems that the back housing as well as all the internal mechanics of the device are made of plastic. Pros, the machine is a perfect match for our KitchenAid mixer and looks right at home on the kitchen counter. The all metal construction is mostly cosmetic, but the machine has a very solid sturdy feel to it. No idea if this will translate to a longer life. Using the machine and its heavy duty lever is as easy as can be. Word to the wise, before I even ordered this machine, I ordered two 12 ounces paintball tanks plus an adapter so I could use them with the soda stream. Refilling these tanks is $3.50 at Dick's Sporting Goods vs the 15 that Bed Bath & Beyond wants to refill. Overall, overall I'm happy with the purchase. In our first few days we've made about 10 liters of soda water. Saving us tons of recycling, schlepping, and finally a few cents per bottle. The best part is, we don't need to worry about running out of soda water, 90% of what we drink, anymore. 5.0 out of 5 stars. Great machine. Some things to note. Love the machine, but there are a few things to note. Got the machine to replace a leaking plastic soda stream machine, this thing is well built and I like using it better than the other machine, especially since you don't have to screw the bottle in. And it has a more durable feel physically and when you are using it. But in regards to the cons. The description said it came with a large CO2 bottle, it did not. The enclosed soda stream flavor sample package was past its best use date by almost two months. And for some reason, the metal plate with the words KitchenAid is on upside down. The plate I don't care about because it does not impair the function of the machine I do however feel a bit shited on the C02 bottle and sample packets just made me feel like the one they shipped me was some production reject. 5.0 out of 5 stars. Upgraded from Jet. I used to have the SodaStream Jet, 
and recently got one of these KitchenAid soda streams. It is amazing. It is so much easier, and has a more durable feel to it. I would recommend this if you are as big a soda stream fan as myself. 1.0 out of 5 stars. Amazon should warn you, this is really difficult to return. Buying this has been a thoroughly unpleasant experience. I bought this as opposed to a soda stream, because it seemed sturdy and attractive. I thought the price was worth it. Now I just wish I'd bought a soda stream at some place local. Mine worked beautifully for three days, then started to leak CO2 and not carbonate anymore. Sad, but I thought having bought a quality appliance from a very convenient store, it would be reasonably handled and soon a working replacement would be on my counter. Wrong. When I tried to return it, I found this product can't be returned through Amazon's usual system. They had me call KitchenAid, and talk to a technician instead. To be able to ask KitchenAid a question, I had to wait on hold for more than 15 minutes, and then had to provide my name, phone and email. That has nothing to do with asking a question about a product, it's just data mining and it's disgraceful. Then. The woman who I spoke to there was really rude. She insisted that I had to give her a number that she said was on the back, or on the box. It wasn't on the back and I didn't have the box, so she said she wouldn't help me. I usually try to give customer service people a break, I know their job has to be hard, but she was really unacceptably rude. You cannot help someone without being really rude and I'm still unsure what they expect, for people to keep their boxes forever. I did have the serial number and model. So, then when I tried to finish with the Amazon return form, before I could proceed they asked did the KitchenAid technician help you, and I clicked no, and there was nothing but a no, sorry. Let us know if you need something else besides returning things. They still won't let me return it. I'm emailing for further info now, but they seem to insist that this goes through KitchenAid. I didn't buy this from KitchenAid, I bought it from Amazon. Less than a month ago. Products should have a warning if they don't follow the usual practices, I buy things sold by Amazon because I know I can return them if needed and I won't have to go through ridiculous red tape like this. So, here's your warning, you can't just return this, and trying to return it is really annoying. I expected more of both KitchenAid and Amazon. Review number 1. Before I bought this machine, I realized SodaStream runs a Gillette business model. You know, they sell you a razor for a reasonable price, or free, but get you with the refills. My family drinks tons of soda, but there is no way I'm paying $15 per refill.